All right, so since we are in the spirit of helping people move after helping Austin get moved out of his dad's house, or were we helping Austin's dad get Austin out of his house? Put down below which one you think we did there. Uh, but either way, uh, we're gonna help Angie move her fifth wheel trailer up to her new home in uh, up in Washington, up in the Puget Sound area. And uh, this is it. So we're gonna take a good look around at it because I haven't actually seen it before. Uh, it's one of the tapered corner front ones, which are good for a short bed, but I've got a sliding fifth wheel hitch, so I should be able to just fine even without that, but that, that's going to help out a lot with maneuverability. So, looks like we got good tires on it. Got a spare tire. We're going to have to pull up all the jacks. Yeah, these tires are actually in really good shape. Aluminum wheels and everything. And you're fancy. All right, let's uh, hook up to it and then, then check out all the lights and make sure the brakes work and all that stuff. jaws are locked closed. Cable up here. We're gonna have to suck in the landing gear and throw these blocks in. And I've got a mile of room to slide that slider back up forward. I was actually kind of worried about it. I was gonna have to leave it back. What I am gonna have to watch out for though is the clearance of this wheel lift to these uh, landing gear legs. So uh, once I get all loaded up I'll slide it up and then check that and see what we want to do. But we got lights lights lots of lights all the lights blinky 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 good and even more lights looking good yeah, i don't like that i mean the tailgate's going to be up but that wheel lift is way too close so go ahead and slide it back all right everything's locked in and good well now that's close right there but i am in a dip with the truck so when i flatten out that'll open up It'd be nice if there's like a midpoint stop on that slider what i could do now that these landing legs are up is i could slide that back up and then run my wheel lift down here to where it would clear underneath these in a turn just have to be careful that if I go through a dip and turn at the same time that wheel lift kicks up. We'll just see if that clears. Okay, get our oop. Oh. oh man! I just wanted to kick it loose a little bit. Ah. Got it. Long arms for the win. We're gonna kick it gently. There we go. Ah. Okay, all the lights work, slides are in, uh, awnings folded, the inside they said is all good to go, awnings even wire tied up, so just uh, got to watch that clearance issue right there, which I don't think is going to be an issue. Well, let's see if the brakes work. Turn it way up more. They work. Good. Looks good for my seat. Uh, but today is not the day that we're hauling this thing. I mean, we're hauling it right now, but not to Washington. We're gonna do that tomorrow. So tonight I'm gonna go back home, uh, go to bed, and then get up early so I can get a nice early start in the morning and we'll head out of here. So I will see you tomorrow, which is now today, which is the day after what you're just looking at two seconds ago. So internet's weird, but uh, we are on our way now. It's finally light enough to see a little bit. I did go ahead and slide that fifth wheel up last night and I checked the clearance of my driveway and it does clear when you turn but like not enough to be comfortable with so I just lowered the fifth wheel down some and it will swing underneath if it has to so or wheel lift I mean so let's get going
are here and kind of a steep driveway here watch this camera there and make sure the wheel lift doesn't hit the landing gear now from what I've been told by the way that's the Puget Sound right there we're on the west side of the Puget Sound but from what I've been told it'd be best if I pull up that way and back all the way down the road to their house because there's no way I'm turning around down there so let's do that All right, we got it up here. Need just enough bed clearance in there to make it all work. Didn't even have to slide the fifth wheel back. Perfect. Let's get it unhooked. All right, we're unhooked. Got it plugged into power for them. Got the stabilized the jack in there, leveled out. So now we can head uh, back south through this rain. But. We are not done yet because we got to stop in Longview, Washington on the way back and pick something up. And it's something I am not happy that I have to buy, but I'm super happy that I was able to find because they're really hard to find. So let's take a little road trip uh, a few hours to the south and uh, we'll see what else we're getting. All right, nice steep driveway to check that thing back up into. But we did it all in one shot, backed it, I don't know, half a mile down the road, quarter mile, something, quarter mile probably and then got it up in there in one shot. This over here is the Olympic Peninsula. I don't know if that's the same thing as the Puget Sound. I should since I uh, kind of lived up here in Washington for a while, uh, right on the water in Bremerton. But um, either way, that's the water. Uh, let me know in the comments. Is the Puget Sound and the Olympic Peninsula the same thing or did I just call it the wrong thing? I can never remember that one. I got all excited while we were picking it up and forgot to grab the camera. So, uh, this is what we're getting. This is a whole new rear axle for this truck. Because as I found out, mine is bent. Not only is it bent out that way a lot, it's bent a little bit this way too on both sides. How we found out, this, is, this was the front tire. See, it still looks brand new. Come up here. This was the tire on the back, totally, almost completely slick on that side. I had to flip them because it was gone. So it didn't get bent from me doing something stupid. What happened was when the rear end in this truck got replaced, they welded the axle tubes. Actually, let me show you on this one, it's easier. 
they welded the axle tubes right here to stop this tube from being able to twist in the diff and they just welded the hell out of it all on one side then went to the other and that warped the whole tube back so my two back tires are towed out a degree and a half and towed up in about a degree and that's what's killing my tires that took quite a while to figure out why i was killing the back tire so bad uh, finally took it to elite fleet we put it on the alignment rack and aligned the back end like we would align the front and that's how we found out that they were towed out so bad and also now you see why i took all the toolboxes and stuff out for this trip uh because i had a lot of stuff to bring home all right let's go home all right, well now that I got my axle loaded up in the back, I'm gonna head for home. I think I'm gonna go over Mount Hood, which is kind of questionable on uh, whether or not it's gonna be snowing. But uh, if this video leaves you wanting so much more, click on this one right here that the YouTube algorithm handpicked just for you. And then, uh, but before you do that, click right here to subscribe.